Prologue. Hi, I'm Luis Lopez, host of Atlas Lingue, and your narrator for this audiobook. And I have to start with an apology, because I'm really going to have to go there and ask a simple but honestly kind of impossible question. What is translation? Is it adapting a piece of text from one language to another? That would make sense. But translation happens within the same language all the time. For example, when English people teach Americans their slang words, or when Mexicans find out that the word for their favorite pastry can actually be very offensive in other Spanish-speaking countries. Okay, but there definitely has to be language involved, either written or spoken, right? Well, not really, no. Let's not open up a whole other can of worms by asking the question, what is language, because we'll be here forever. But suffice it to say that if you can communicate in nonverbal ways, then you can also translate nonverbal forms of communication. Most people will understand nodding your head as a form of saying yes, but that's not the only gesture for this. Indians will wobble their heads to both sides, and Mexicans will raise and lower their index finger quickly, kind of like making their finger imitate a nod. And speaking of fingers, what about pointing? Most people point to things with their hands, but in several Latin American countries, as well as in the Philippines, people will often point with their lips. And when we're unfamiliar with gestures like these and experience them, we have to consciously translate them. Ultimately, it can be argued that all language is an act of translation. When we gather our thoughts and put them into words, we're translating what's in our mind so we can share it with other people. We may be so used to thinking in our native language that we don't even consider this translation, but it is. And we know this because every so often this process hits a bump in the road and we run into a thought or a feeling that we can't quite put into words. We do the best we can to describe it and make sense of it to communicate it. And, of course, in this entire process, we also have to consider how the message will be received. Will the other person understand the words I want to use? Am I trying to explain something that requires certain specialized knowledge or cultural insight to understand? And if that person lacks that vocabulary, how can I make sure that the message comes across correctly? At Studio Ochenta, our greatest passion is telling stories that cross language and cultural barriers. Our motto is raising voices across cultures, and one of our specialties is translating audio stories. Our experience has led us to discover that any form of translation requires not only adapting the words and the grammar, but the culture as well. Translating a story from English to French, for example, doesn't only require a knowledge of French grammar and vocabulary, but an understanding of French culture, of the perceptions they may have as they listen to the story, and of similar references or experiences more unique to them that can serve to evoke similar feelings or ideas. This is why we at Studio Ochenta created Atlas Lingue, a non-fiction show dedicated to exploring the world of language and communication. This audiobook compiles 10 original episodes of the show, each one with a new original commentary that expands on the concepts and anecdotes shared in each episode. The first five episodes are focused on the topic of translation in different forms. Global storytelling, slogans and marketing, dubbing and subtitling, emojis, and the issues behind artificial intelligence and translation. The second half of this audiobook will include five episodes about the way we communicate grand universal ideas. Flirting, the gender binary and everything beyond it, fashion, money, and, I guess darkly appropriate for the last chapter, death. So join me as we delve into the joyfully challenging art of translating everything, from how to accurately advertise your products overseas, to what your date meant when they sent you that emoji at 2am last night. <laughs>